In order for Perl to talk to the database server, we use a special language called SQL or Structured Query Language. If you haven't become familiar with SQL already, I'd recommend that you type the relatively short amount of time that it takes to get familiar with SQL. It's a very simple language to learn and is designed to be specifically like the English language. It's outside the remit of this course to look into the ins and outs of SQL, but the virtual training company do several CDs that cover database management. I've done one on MySQL, which I'm quite happy to push here if you're interested in using databases with Perl. So once we've got our SQL string set up, we need to find a way of using it. Let's wrap our SQL into a scalar variable, and we're just going to use a very, very simple query here. We're just going to select the contents of two columns from a table. Nothing more complicated than that. Once we've done that, we need to set up what's called a statement handle. Now, the statement handle is different from the database handle. The database handle takes care of the connection between the Perl environment and the database environment. The statement handle looks specifically at one query or one particular procedure that's going to be carried out on the database server. So to create our statement handle, we need to create another handle variable here. And I'm going to call that query. And we call the statement handle by using the database handle that we just set up two lines above. And we use a method of that particular database handle there, and it's called prepare. Prepare takes one argument, and that is the SQL string that we just set up in the line above. Once we've done that, then the query is all ready to roll. All we need to do now is to execute it. And this is very simply done. We use the statement handle that we've just set up, and we call a method from that. Execute. And that carries out our query, and it's passed over to the database and processed there. To get our data back from the database, once we passed it the query, we need to loop over all the results that it receives. A single result is returned by using this method, fetch row array. There are actually a number of similarly named methods for calling back data in Perl, such as fetch row hash and fetch row array ref and so on. We're just going to be looking at this because it's one of the simplest. It returns a numeric array from which we can pull our data. So we'll use a while loop to loop over the contents of our result set. And we're going to do that by setting the row array each time we go over the loop to the array that's being returned by the statement handle. Once we've got our row there, we can do whatever we like with it. So I'm just going to print out the elements within the row using a print function. In our next movie, we're going to try out this script on the remote host.